Hey gang, Sparky here. I thought I'd take a quick moment to kick the tires on the new update to Default Folder X. This is an app that I've used for decades. It's an amazing application, and it really allows you to jumpstart and add features to the Open and Save dialog box on your Mac. It frequently shows up in my screencast because I forget to turn it off, and I think of it as a default feature on the Mac, and people say, what happened to your Open and Save dialog? Well, it's just that default folder X is running. It also has a menu bar app right here that has got additional features where you can go and find uh, locations on your drive, recent folders, etc., etc. I have been continuing to play with my 3D printer. So there we go. I can go to the folder with the STL for a AAA battery holder because that's what I needed yesterday. They just came out with version 6 and they added several new features that I'd like to show off. All right, before I dig in, this is my open dialog box for text edit, but as soon as I click on it, make it the active window, then default folder X kicks in. You can see I've added some favorite folders over here to the left side. It gives me a preview of whatever I'm working on below. Uh, it gives me information about the file. I can add tags or comments or adjust permissions. All of this stuff right in the open and save dialog box. If I click to another, file you see there's another file that i did for you a few months ago and then over on the right you've got the default folder x favorites like if i want to go directly to my computer you can see i can click on that and navigate through it uh, if i can go to my favorites i've added several over the years to default folder x i can look at my recent ones i just showed you my AAA battery so that's on top you've also got the ability to look at recent files and you can even go to finder windows and all of this is available to you whenever you open a file so I'm going to open up this pop clip video here. And then I'm going to add some text. And then I'm going to save it. Now this is the save dialog box out of text edit. And you can see I've got the same list of options available to me. So not only can I open from any location, I can save from any location. I find that adding tags here is super easy. So if you like to tag your files, default folder X can be an excellent tool for that. So let's take a look at what they added with version six. So the first big feature is quick search. I'm going to the default folder X menu item, and then I'm gonna click on quick search. You could also hit shift command space if that's available to you. And now you can do a search through default folder X. It's almost like a finder search embedded in the application. It definitely leans towards your favorites and recents to make it easier to surface that stuff. Like I'm gonna type AAA again because I've been talking about that. And you can see that AAA battery holder is the second item on the list. If I go ahead and hit return, it's gonna jump right to that. You can also search folders. So if I go down here and hit right arrow, then I can type a search term just within that folder. In this case, there's only three files, but if I type holder.stl, you'll see it's gonna to go to that one. If you had a much bigger folder, that would make it even more useful. And because this is biased towards your favorites and your recents, this is gonna make it very easy to get to files. You'll see there's a little button here to the left of the search term. If you want to just search for files or folders or apps, you can limit the results with that. Another nice feature is they've expanded the save as field or the save field to allow you to write a lot more text. So here is a really long file name on my Mac just because I can. If you work with long file names, this is worth the price of admission alone. While I'm here, they've also added actions now, which is a bit of automation, kind of cool. So you can say after saving the file, you can have it open it in the default app. You can attach it to a new mail message in Apple Mail or whatever mail app you choose. Let me go ahead and click that. Let's try that out. Uh, you can send it to an Apple script, automator's workflow, or shortcut, and you can even remember these. So if every time you save a file in text edit, you want it to go to mail, you could click this button and it would do it every time. But let's give this a shot. So I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save the file. All right, so the file saved, and you can see it opened a new mail, an Apple mail that is going to have this pop clip attachment right attached to it. So great. Another new feature is the ability to perform actions on files from the menu bar app. So I've got this file here. You can see when I drag it, I've got a couple things going on. I've got Yoink opening up. I've got 
drop zone opening up. These are apps that I use for file management. Well, now default folder gets added to the mix because it can do it as well. If I just let go of it, then I can pick where to move the item to. Like I could say, go from here and put it in my iCloud drive or my home folder or on the desktop. You can also have it go to recent folders and menus if you want. So uh, if I go to recent folders, again, going back to that Gridfinity AAA holder, there it is. I just put it in there with it. The settings haven't changed much, but under the general menu setting, there's a customized menu button now, which can allow you to change and resort and reset the way everything appears in the menu bar. Overall, this is a really nice update to a great utility app for your Mac. You can find it over at stclairsoft.com. They've got two apps, App Tamer and Default Folder X. This app makes me way more efficient with opening and saving files, and I bet it would for you too. As always, thanks for your support in the labs, and I'll see you next time.